Let's give thunder a try. Don't worry, lightning, it's not goodbye. It's John's first time steering a boat. At the end of the week, will it still be afloat? Christine will worry while she's at home. Only knowing what Dave tells her on the phone. Christine will worry it's happened before. Dave got drunk, couldn't find the door. Let's give thunder a try. They are going down south. How much beer will they put in their mouths? John's a big lad, better mind his head. Will he even fit in the bed? Let's give thunder a try. What can go wrong? Just hit subscribe to follow along. Oh, guys, I've done these windows. This is what I mean. It, it winds you up. I'm sorry, Jean. You'll have to live with it. Twenty pound overnight at Herbert Woods for private craft. Like that thing at the front, yeah, that yeah. counterweight was it? Lunch time is we're on about evening, aren't we? Oh, right, it's to yeah. R4. It's at 7.30. So if we come here at R4, mm -hmm. get some at 8, then we can shoot off and go somewhere else then. So that was the plan, and we want to check the cheaper times because I want to be able to show him up past Darling and on. And if we have time to go in the broads like Black Horse Broad, Roxham Broad, Salos Broad. But if we set off from here in the morning, we won't have the time to do that because we've got to be at Bolters for 12. Now then. Do you know when I said don't get too near this bridge when you're turning around? Yeah, I can tell. It's not too windy now, so it's not that bad, but the wind can grab you sideways on and have you pinned up against here if you're not careful. Well, isn't he? Ow. Have you been bit? Oh, and the ride is open. Oh dear. Well, Falgate would be open by the time we walk up there from here. I think we're going to um, go in the farms and get one of those savoury things that they have. Yeah, we'll pop in there on the way back. How's what? How can you have hot takeaway ice cream? Where are you looking? Oh, it says takeaway ice cream. Takeaway ice cream? Hot and cold. Hot and cold drinks? Oh, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> you don't have to prove to me how stupid you are every day. <clears throat> I managed to keep the blinkers on until we got around to the 
the place where you get your food from and we just managed to get away with £5.80 between us so that's not too bad and we're going to have a walk down to the fall gate so it's half a mile away 10 minutes of a job that is it and it's at 11.32 it says on the Google that it opens at 11.30 but we can not have in 5 hours in the pub before we get the chips and then go somewhere else well we might have a couple of hours sat outside the Narada watching the fishing and the boats on the river it's 12 Right, what to do when you wait for a pub to open? <laughs> Straight down the middle. <coughs> Straight down the middle. I oh, know. Too far close. Bloody hell. <laughs> That'll do. It's, it's no good for my knees, that. No good for me, I don't think the foot's moving that quick. Don't go on them swings. Why is that? No, they won't have to pay for replacements. Oh, I wonder what they're doing here. Swimming pool. <laughs> Official water level check. Still getting me when I'm near the bar. Go into the bar again. Yeah, I just about got your head. Your big head. Yeah, it's nice in there. I didn't want to do too much filming though, in case they thought I was... So they have some real ales as well on, from the other bar. Time. He was just in that pub, weren't he? I mean, some lunch. Electric BMWs. Don't go in. Hello. Don't go in. Potter. Walk past it. <laughs> Walk past it. Walk past. Don't go in. Whoops, that's on the road that. Oh, we were right. Do not go in. Cost your fortune. Are you in there? There's some bangers. I was in and out without really spending much. We can go in there, that place. Not, not wanting. Oh, will he shut up? Not wanting anything. And uh, come out with all sorts of rubbish. Oh, I'm having a quick pint of the worry. Oh, I didn't get the price of that one. I don't know. Couldn't tell what she was saying because he was winding me up. And a little place to come this, isn't it, for fishing? Because you could park up. Well, you can park up on here, I suppose, couldn't you? But you'd have to walk far with all your gear. Five foot six. So when Terry and Sue come, they are up that way in a cottage. And um, Terry beat him for the biggest tench, I think. 
I think they're back here next. Well, they are, I know they are. They're um, back here next month, and I've said, well, we're going to be in Beckles uh, on the 6th and 7th of August. Come down and have a game of snooker. That'd be. That'd, oops, that weren't very clever, were it? <laughs> That were in iffy. I hope that's his mate next to him. <laughs> um, because that'd be better, because we've got three of us. So we could do with another one to make up a... Yeah, it seems as though they're talking to each other. Uh, make a forehand up. I was hoping there was going to be a gate here so I could get out and just have a walk to the, to the river. To take, oh, there is one at the bottom. No, there isn't. So I could have a talk to them. See how they're doing. Oh, got my camera out thinking they're going through the bridge. No, he's not. That's a little one. Yeah. No problem with that one getting under. Go on, you can do it. Are they doing it? Go on, come on. Don't stop under there. Yes, we're taking them as well. Come on. Oh, oh. Rear ended here, you're not careful. <laughs> Oh, he stopped under there. Oh, oh, I need to get up there. <laughs> so if they don't move, he's going to rear end him, isn't he? That's what I'm just saying. What are you doing? Oh, they're stopping. I don't know what you were doing. You weren't going very fast, were you? What's the geezer doing there? I have no idea. He's struggling to get first. Oh, this is out. He used to get, he meant to get the pilot. Well, not for a little boat like that, no. Oh, My bike changed his mind. Just so he can get food. Look at the size of it. That's the smallest boat I've ever seen. Uh, that's what I've just said on the video, yeah. <laughs> this geese is drifting down, he's had it. Oh, yeah. It's, it's going through pretty fast now, the side. It's going through fast. When I was fishing, I had to stop it. It was going through too quick. Yeah. Look at it. You've got to be careful at this bridge because when it goes really fast in the wind as well, yeah. if you turn too close to it, I've seen a few that's been side on to the Ever. bridge. Yeah. <laughs> and then they're having to like fend off and try and push themselves off and it's not, not that easy. Yeah. It does say don't turn too near. On the other side it says don't turn too near. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, it does, yeah. So how's the fishing been for you? That's right. I had a, I had a nice bass. Bass? Yeah. Where? In Beckles. Oh, man, the best do come in, the, the, the bass do come up. So we, I've had no issue. Was it a bass or a No, it's a bass. Oh, right. I could have ate it. It was a two and a half pound bass. It was beautiful. Yeah. No, the mullet, I, I, you, don't, you don't catch that. Yeah, possible. No, I've tried with them. No. I've seen, I saw a shoal. First time I ever saw them, I was at um, Rockland St. Mary. Yeah. And I saw this shoal keep swimming up and down. First of all, I thought, they can't be chub. You know no, the chance of chub. They look chub. like chub, don't they? They do a bit, yeah. yeah. But they got the white. Yeah, well, yeah. I've seen them in the same place now twice. And they're yeah. huge people, private owners. <laughs> Are you ready? Oh, well, he's managed it. Yeah, it's certainly pushing through fast now, that. I don't know what that was there, the other. No, it was going the other like way, weren't it? Like the waves were going against it. Yeah. John's just fallen foul of the Latham's trap. He went to get some cigarettes. What, what, else, you got? what else have you got, John? <laughs> what the bloody hell are them? We go home on Saturday, though. it's Thursday they're, now. They're for next week. Monster, whatever they are. Monster Munch. Oh, look Monster Munch? I've, I've even got that. Oh my God. 
What are you going to do with that? Can't see it on camera. <laughs> oh, God, <laughs> Jesus. Oh, dear. Yeah, I went for cigarettes, come back with a bag full. You don't get your size by not eating. Look at that, they can eat it all. And there's a couple of big lads there as well. Go on, John. You don't go down and get one of them, whatever it is. It's just cheeses. It's just cheese. How do you know what it is? You've not looked, you've not looked at the menu. Cheese. Mm, they look tempting though, don't they? Go on. You think you're going to get me on picture? Get <laughs> out of my bag. <laughs> I mean, come on, that's wrong, isn't it? Look at him. I've had to stop drinking, me, because we're setting off somewhere. Look at him. He doesn't even know where he's going. Right, see you in a bit. Two sausages and a small dip and a piece of pie. Nip it, chip it. in a brown one on the bottom. Right, see that? I just find myself automatically leaning on it and then I realised, don't do that. I must say, if they taste as good as they look, then that's going to be a blooming lovely meal. Can't fault that chippy. A few years ago, it was getting really bad reviews. It, I think it's obviously now under new management. But yeah, even in Potterium, getting the nippy chippy. First and last time for him, I'll tell you. He's what? Mm. He's watching cricket. So I said, right, we'll get ourselves sorted, you can untie us, and then you can carry on watching cricket. Cause it, it's now half five and it's on till about half six, I think. Right, he says, so he goes under the front rope, Well, I've not even got the engine going. I said, what the flipping heck are you doing? And he's down on the bike rope. Not even got the engine going. I said, are you completely mad? Do not untie the ropes unless somebody's in control of the boat. Now then, is it, oh, I've met this guy at, um, oh, Ferndyke. I'm sure I have. Eel catcher. Has he got any in the net? Have you got any? No, not in there. Yeah, I've met him before. Uh, oh, anyway. Good job that I stayed sober. Well, I want to set off here, weren't sober. Oh, they caught one. No. Um, right, we're going to have to. Um, no. So, basically, we're just going to have a cruise up to South Walsham. Maybe if it's it's not too windy actually now, but if it is, just getting Fleet Dyke if we can. If not, we'll go in the broad. By which time he'll be asleep, hopefully. It's an embarrassment, he is. Yeah, then he says, which size is this on? I don't think it's in bloody reeds, isn't it? I better move over that way a bit. Give him some room. 
I think he's all getting them reins, isn't he? Yep. Just down there. In the distance. So, my plan was if the wind got up a bit too much, it's a bit breezy now, but uh, I don't think it's too bad. Because I can't rely on him, it's kind of, if we go down Fleet Dyke, he can't get off the boat dressed like that. Well, undressed like that. Oh my god. Never again. Getting up a little bit. I might try Fleet Dyke. Just to be on the safe side. I'm more people want to get a sunset tonight. I've not seen one this week. Since Bennett's looks a bit full. I see this wind, it's, a, it's just like, I don't know, it's gusting, isn't it? It's not disgusting. Um, probably could get away with the mud weight. So we'll see, I'm going to go down Fleet Dyke anyway, because I like it down there. I don't think I've ever overnight. Uh, moored at St. Bennett's. I'm going there at midnight. Midnight? I mean, I could have been asleep for three hours by then. Well, two hours. <laughs> right, where is he bringing that from, or is he backing up? Yeah, so um, well, there probably is a gap there by the looks of it. But is he awake? Has he got? Has he put any claws on? Oh, he's asleep. Who's he watching? Oh, he's watching the end of the cricket, I think. Yeah, there's a gap up there, but I think we'll pop down here, it's a little bit more sheltered. Yeah, big gaps, big gaps, that's on. There's enough there for get a boat in up there, but... Again with the wind. <laughs> wind is not my friend. Sea Fleet Dyke. If I can get moored up on on the side, and it's not windy in the morning, I could probably get it up. Give it a fly about. 
Uh, we will see. Space there, but it's on a sort of a bit of an angle, so we'll give that a miss. Alright, I don't think the wind's going to be too bad. It's not forecast to be really windy if we do need to just drop the mud weight. Me and Christine have been here a few times and had some really lovely sunsets. Just chilled out. Mud weight down. Slowly drifting around with the tide. Blooming lovely. I'm looking at this lot. Mud weight it is, I think. So the mud weight or back up to St Bennett's. I think I prefer the mud weight. Not mud weighted on lightning. Um, I hope the mud weight's heavy enough. <laughs> Gunning plan. Don't go to bed and try to read. Try to read here. I think the trees are going to cover the sunset, aren't they? I'm trying to read my Kindle, but even in here I'm falling asleep. It's so quiet. It's so, so quiet. Maybe can't relax on this all day. You never will. Feels like we're cruising. <laughs> we're not, but it feels like we are.
light, heavy weights in bed.